Hello. Today I'm reviewing Canadian Canada Dry Ginger Ale. This is actually from Canada because you can see it's part French, part English. I know it's hard to focus on this because of the poor quality on this webcam and YouTube's capture program sucks, but I'm too lazy to download a capture program and yeah. This comes in a nice little fancy glass bottle reminiscent of Boylan's Ginger Ale. I don't have any bottles to bring up right now for comparison, but pretty much similar design. So according to the bottle, this is made with real ginger. But, you know, Canada Dry is always made with real ginger. At least in the U.S. and in Canada. <coughs> Ingredients in this are carbonated water, sugar or glucose, fructose, <coughs> citric acid, sodium benzoate, color, and natural flavors. In this 12 ounce or 355 milliliter bottle, you'll get 50 milligrams of sodium, 150 calories, 32 total carbohydrates, all of which are sugars. This is caffeine free and is made by the Canada Dry Mox Company, but is bottled by Coca Cola Company. I got this while I was at the Coca Cola store in Niagara Falls, which is where they offered floats of Sprite, Coke, A&W root beer, just whatever. But they had Canada Dry in these nice little fancy glass bottles. Now, I tried um, Canadian Canada Dry before while I was on my um, flight to Toronto on Air Canada Rouge, like, you know, when I first went to Europe last year. So, yeah. But I haven't had it in a while, so I'm just going to chug along. Let's give it a smell. Smells like American Canada Dry with smell. You got your standard gingery smell, and then you have the um, kind of citrusy aftertaste, kind of like a sprite, you know, with the lemons and the limes. All the citron fruit, all the citrus fruit, not citron. <laughs> all right, let's give this a taste. It pretty much starts you off with a really strong. Very hard to describe taste. However, it's very strong. It's extremely bland to me, so I'm guessing it's probably sweetness. That reminds me quite a bit of L8 one, you know. L8 or L8 one. If you uh, if you've ever tried it, so some of the that, and then you get a nice gingery aftertaste, and then it just finishes off clean. It's uh, not that syrupy. It's very well made. Um, if you can pick this up, whether it be in glass bottles, plastic bottles, cans, fountains, whatever, I'd recommend that you try it. I rate this product a 4 out of 5. The link to the website will be in the description, possibly an Amazon link if I can get it. And it's probably not real Canada to drive from Canada, though. Bye bye